ISO 21001. Welcome to the lesson on Introduction to the ISO 21001 Standards. This lesson explains the scope of ISO 21001, some important terms, definitions, the principles for an educational organization, and the process-based approach in the design of the standards. What is ISO 21001? ISO 21001 certification is an educational organization management system EOMS standard. It aims to audit the interaction and engagement between educational institutions, learners, interested parties, stakeholders and other beneficiaries against globally accepted standards. The standard is based on the 11 principles outlined by ISO for a successful, effective and socially responsible educational organization that has a transparent educational structure and promotes inclusive education. This is to address the needs and requirements of individual learners and their beneficiaries. What is the scope of ISO 21001 standard? ISO is for organizations that supports the acquisition and development of competence through teaching, learning or research. It's also for organization that enhances the satisfaction of learners, other beneficiaries and staff through the effective application of its EOMS, Educational Organization Management System, including processes for improvement of the system and assurance of conformity to the requirement of learners and other beneficiaries. So in short, we can say that wherever there is learners and there is an organized structure to run uh, materials for the learners, then this uh, EOMS ISO 2001 can apply. Important definitions. Let's see some important terms and their meaning in context of ISO standard for EOMS. Requirement. It is a need or expectation that is stated, generally implied or obligatory. Interested party. Interested parties are those stakeholders that receive products or services and who may be impacted by them or those parties who may otherwise have a significant interest in the organization or even perceived to be affected by the organization. So those are interested parties. Management systems. They are a set of interrelated or interacting elements of an organization to frame policies, establish and implement processes and to achieve the set objectives. Process. It is a set of interrelated or interacting activities that converts input to the desired outputs. Conformity. These are the product, service or system that have been assessed against and meets the requirements of one or more of the established ISO standards. Principles. Let's understand the principles. ISO 21001 standards are based on 11 principles that guide the establishment and conduct of an educational organization by its Educational Organization Management System EOMS. The ISO 21001 is founded on the level 11 principles that establish and run an educational institution. Understanding the principles and its rationale is important to understand the various requirements under ISO 21001 standards. The first principle we will call it B1 according to what is given in ISO standards. B1 is learner focus. The primary focus is on meeting the needs of the learners and the beneficiaries of the EOMS as well as to exceed the expectations, understanding current and future needs of learners and beneficiaries so as to work towards an attainment lead to success of the educational organization. Second, B2, visionary leadership. Visionary leadership engages the learners and beneficiaries in the organization's vision, mission and objectives. This ensures that there is no disconnect between people who serve the organization 
and the people who are served by it. B3 Engagement of people. The organization should engage all involved people who are competent and empowered to deliver value in congruence with the vision and mission. B4 Process approach. Activities of the organization should be understood and managed as interrelated processes that are part of a coherent system working in tandem to achieve the objectives. A system runs through processes that are interrelated and interconnected. B5 Improvement Have a continuous ongoing focus on improvement. Improvement helps to maintain or improve performance, allowing for appropriate reaction to changes in external and internal issues. B6 Evidence-Based Decisions Facts, evidence and data analysis is essential are essential to have a great, greater objectivity and confidence in the complex process of decision making. The decisions which will have a lasting effect on learners and beneficiaries. These should be evidence based so that it stands the test of time. B7 Relationship Management Managing the relation of the organization with the providers, learners and other interested parties is very important for sustained success. This allows early detection of any shortcomings or any risks as well as any opportunities that arise and can be managed. B8 Social Responsibility This is embedded in the business of educational organizations. They impact the society, economy and environment through their activities and decisions. B9 Accessibility and Equity Successful organizations are inclusive, flexible, transparent and accountable. These are essential traits for the organization to address learners' individual and special needs, interests, abilities and backgrounds. This again can be learned and applied by engagement with the interested parties. B10 Ethical Conduct in Education it is the ability of an organization to create an ethical professional environment where all people are respected and dealt equitably. Conflicts of interest are addressed ethically and activities support the society and community. B11 Data Security and Protection This is important for all interested parties to interact with the internal educational organization with full confidence that their data which are provided will be cared for as per the relevant laws of the land. The ISO recommends the PDCA cycle for the various processes of the EOMS. The risk-based thinking also supplements the PDCA cycle. What is the PDCA? Plan, do, check and act. The PDCA asserts that the management actions are effective by the careful adopted adoption of the plan, do, check, act sequence. Plan. Plan by establishing the objectives, processes and the resources to meet the needs, expectations and requirements. Do. Implement what was planned. C. Check. Check, monitor and measure the results of the various processes and identify improvements. Act. Take actions to improve. What is risk-based thinking? An organization plans and implements actions to address the identified risks and opportunities. This will enhance the quality of the output as well as prevent or mitigate any negative effects due to risks. Thank you. That was our lesson on introduction. Our next lesson will be on clause 4 which is the context of the organization. Thank you.